to learn about him and all. And so I want so I am a teacher by nature, by trade. That's just, you know, by gift, by anointing. That's just what it is. So what you can do is, is I'm going to give y'all an opportunity to allow you to um, be a blessing should you desire. So trim, I'm going to give you the um, the PayPal first. You can use our email address if you have PayPal and desire to be a blessing. PayPal. PayPal is our email address, which is trim, T-R-E-M, op, O-P-P. It's all one word together. Trim op 2014. Trim Op 2014. You pretty much want to write that down because it's the same thing for Cash App. Trim Op 2014. But at the end of the PayPal, you use the at gmail.com because it's the email address. So it's Trim Op 2014 at gmail.com. Cash App is Trim Op 2014. That is the name of the ministry, the location it is, and the year that it was established. That's how we keep up with it. The name, Trim, the city, Op, the year established, 2014. So that is our cash app. Our mailing address is post office box 543. Right in sync together. Number of grace, five. Steps in before the four and the three. 543. Post office box 543 in Op. That's OPP, Alabama. Zip code is 36467. 36467. 36467. So those are opportunities. If should anybody desire to be a blessing, the opportunities is put right there for you. Remember, we are on this line every Saturday morning at 8:30. The Lord's will. We're also on prayer Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m. There is a, uh, a number you can get, whoever invited you or however you can get that number from them to catch us on Tuesday mornings at 7 o'clock, 11 a.m. We are in the buildings. We are It's a minimum of us in the buildings, but we are in the buildings on, on Sundays at 11 a.m. Sometimes we go live, sometimes we don't. But if we do not go live at 11 a.m. on Facebook, we would definitely have the Zoom open. For anybody that wants to catch us at our 11 a.m. service. And you can catch us on Zoom. The same Zoom that you are on right now. You can be a part of that. So we have some exciting things that are going on. Feel free to be a blessing. Any questions or any comments before I do this prayer and get us out of here? Any questions or any comments? Amen. Amen. May the Lord continue to keep you. All right. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the time that you've allowed us to assemble together this morning. We thank you for your word that is going forth. It is a word of infallible, infallible truths. That's what I love about it. It's infallible, which means it doesn't have the ability to fall. We thank you that your word has gone out, Father, and it won't return unto you void, but it shall accomplish that which you have sent it to do. Father, we thank you on today for encouraging us and encouraging us all the more to be better. We thank you this morning that we realize, first off, what David said, the Lord is my shepherd. We realize that we are sheep and we are sheep that has to have a shepherd and we are emerged, Father, and we are submerged into the shepherd that you have set for us, God. We thank you that we are establishing and exemplifying the characteristics of you, God. And if we have not been doing that, then, Father, we repent of those things right now under this anointing. We thank you for the goodness and the mercy that is following us. And it is that that is giving us the opportunity, Father, to be who you have purposed for us to be. God, we thank you that you will give us this day our daily bread, God. Lead us not into temptation. Lord, but deliver us from the hand of that old evil one, God. Oh, God, we thank you that you, Father, will forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that are trespassed against us, God. We thank you that thine is the kingdom. It's both the power and the glory. They both belong to you. We are just partakers of them because of you. And so we're very grateful for that, God. Now unto him 
that is able. And the scripture said in the Old Testament that you were well able. I like that better. It says that you are well able. So now unto him that is well able. Well able, Father, we thank you that uh, Psalms 23 exemplifies you as being a provider. That's what we thank you for, Father. There is no lack. There is no deficiencies. Uh, Father, we thank you, Father, that all needs are being met, God. We thank you from the north, the south, the east, and the west, God. We thank you that you are causing things to come in, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are destroying yokes, God, that you are breaking barriers, Father. God, I just want to stamp this prayer with this right here. I want you to move anything, God, that is not connected like it needs to be. I, I want you to remove it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Anything that is that does not have the heart and the mind as it should, I want you to move it, Father. I want you to remove it, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. And I thank you for replenishing things with that that is hopeful, with that that is peaceful, with that that is loving, with that that desires to have a true covenant and a true connection, Father. Not perfect, don't have to be perfect, but Father has to have a mindset to be heard you and literally want to be developed and to be cultivated in you. Father, that is what I ask that you do. And I thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus. I thank you for truth, God. We thank you for our families being sustained and being blessed and being kept. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, bless Trim in an amazing way. Bless us in an amazing way concerning the things that we are embarking upon, the new ways, the new directions into which we are going, God. We thank you that those new directions may mean the loss of things, but it will also mean the gaining of things, and we thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, God bless you all. Love you so much.